Hi guys, this is Peter with Wave One Marine and we're going to do a video tour and sea trial on this 2001 Cobia 194 that we have for sale. This boat's for sale on behalf of a storage facility here in Delray Beach, Florida. We do have a clean Florida title for it and it is going to come with a 2017 Continental aluminum trailer that is in like new condition. So that's a big deal because most boats of this vintage in 01 or 02 are going to come with a trailer that's probably going to need a lot of work. Uh, as you know, trailers have really went up in price over the last few years. To have a 2017 tandem trailer, not a single axle, but a tandem trailer with really nice wheels and hubs and all the quality you expect from a Continental trailer that's coming along with it. So those of you that are far away or considering towing this up north or anywhere around the United States, you can have good peace of mind with this underneath it. So keep that in mind. That's a big deal. It also has the optional guide post. The lights are working. It's really nice. There's not a hint of rust on it anywhere. A uh, two inch ball at the front and the winch here up in the front. We're going to go around the boat. I'm going to show you anything that's a concern or detail. Most of it's all positive to be honest. Our 2001 boat stainless rail is very nice. No bends. We have a little bit. You'll see a couple of you know smacks from docking the boat but this is all cosmetic stuff. There's no major gel coat cracks or anything that we could see on this boat. In fact for a 2001 boat you're going to see with the luster on the side of the hull it's quite nice. It's going to make the next owner very happy. It does need a few things which we'll talk about. It's like a nick or two you'll see throughout this boat but really minor stuff. Going around the hull, overall very nice. The only real nick in the hull that we could find is right here. Again, a little gel coat paste would patch that right up. The bottom coat looks like it's in terrific condition. It has black bottom coat on it and it looks like it's really never sat in the water. It looks very nice as best as we can see. Going down the sides, you'll see a very nice luster on the boat. Overall, very nice. It does have the optional bimini shade and the fabric is in excellent condition. It comes with the boot to cover it up when you're storing it and not using it to protect it from the sun. And we do have a very nice cover for the center console that goes over the center console and protects everything in there that's included as well. We do have the cushions and they're in very nice condition for the seats. Those are the only cushions on the boat. The backrests and the seat rests on the base there. We do not have cushions other than the forward facing seat, which we'll show you once we get up in the boat. Going down the side of the boat, the decals on the boat look very nice, good condition, really no major sun fading, just a little bit of wear. Again, it's a 2001 boat, overall shows very nice. And you can see there's still some luster in the sides of the boat. Nice stainless cleats. Going around the back, your transducer for the Lowrance fish finder and GPS. The Yamaha 132 stroke, which I'll show you underneath the cowling in just a moment, it's in very good condition. Paint overall is excellent for 2001. The propeller looks good. There's a little bit of paint chipping here in the side, but you know, not a big deal. It does have the hydraulic steering, which is a nice optional upgrade on this boat. Most of them have cable steering. This does have hydraulic steering, so that's a nice upgrade. Going around the back of the boat, nice stainless boarding ladder step up here to get into the boat nice large area everything looks very nice in good shape there going up this side there's a little bit of damage here in the back corner nothing major again this is cosmetic stuff a little bit of scratching here in the back corner again expected with a 2001 boat nice stainless through hulls on this boat that's a nice upgrade from the typical plastic stuff you see cobia really does a nice job with their boats overall in my experience a little bit of dock rash on the on the uh, decals rather moving up the side everything looks quite good here folks I'd say overall for 2001 again got some luster still in the hull it could be buffed and shined even more but it looks quite good really nice boat overall we're gonna jump up inside I'm gonna see what I can show you on there overall I hope it helps everybody through this video tour just a moment all right, entering the back of the boat. On this side, you do have the live well here on the port side. You have access to your fuel filter down here in bilge pump, which actually does look quite clean. Some of the 12 volt items on this boat are not functioning. Uh, battery switch, one, two, all. We did put one brand new battery in this to get it tested for everybody. Again, that's how we found out it had 120 compression and that we're willing to take it out on the sea trial. You know, most storage auctions, you see this kind of stuff, you really don't have any information whatsoever. This particular boat, we did go through it as best as we can and we're gonna show you the highlights of it and what's good and what's not. 
Nice cushions here. These are in good shape. They've probably been stored inside one of the hatches and they're good. They cleaned up quite well. Going up to the helm here. So you got dual captain seats. You got nice rod storage on the port and starboard side. Taking a look, you got a nice footrest up here in the front. Nice stainless destroyer style steering wheel. You got your Yamaha binnacle control. You got two cup holders. You got a nice map storage area right up here. You got a nice Lowrance unit. And this is functioning nicely, pages. We should have the ability to do sonar as well on this unit. There we are. We're not in the water, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to get the full uh, readout there, which we will show you once we get it in the water. But it is functioning, and it does have GPS as well. Okay, so you have multiple options with this, obviously. Let's see if we can get back to the map. There we are. And here we are in Delray Beach or Boynton Beach, Florida. We're going to take the boat out here in just a minute. Does also have a very nice stereo system, a fusion sound system. Exclusively at Floor and Decor. With two speakers. FloorandDecor.com. Gonna be free right about now. It's a top of the line system in the marine industry if you're aware of that fusion system. So this look like the Infinity speakers, which are quite nice as well. Unfortunately, the gauges, I'm going to tell you that they are sun faded, as you can see. It's very hard to read them, if not impossible. The 12 volt switches, some are functioning and some are not. We did have some action out of the, some of them, uh, pumps and the bilge pump, but unfortunately it was intermittent. I'm going to guess that's a fuse issue. The engine runs great, our stereo is great, our Lowrance GPS and fish finder is great. You might have to spend a little time going through some of these 12 volt switches. Might be a fuse or something very basic. Plan on maybe a day and then I would recommend either getting some stickers which they sell online or new faces just for these rocker switches because they are sun faded. You can't see what they are anymore. It does have a nice 12 volt accessory port on this side. Steering is very smooth as we'll see in our sea trial. On the side here we have a nice tackle storage for your tackle trays for your fishing material because that's what this boat is it's a nice fishing boat compass at the front here nice handhold stainless handhold on the windshield which is sturdy and a nice decent height windshield just a little bit of crazing from the sun at the top not too bad up in the bow big bow area on this boat you have huge fish boxes on both the port and starboard side very clean overall as you'll see and everything's nice and solid must say, for a 2001 boat, this boat's held up very well. Obviously, whoever had it did take pretty good care of it. Moving up to the front, you have a nice anchor locker, and you'll see all stainless fittings. Very nice stuff. Nice anchor in the front. Looks like you got a decent amount of chain. Everything looks clean and solid. Bow eye cleat for tying off your anchor. It even has the chocks for the anchor line, so you don't get too much rash. Moving on back. Big floor locker here for storage or what have you. Nice seacock, everything looks very clean as you can see over here. And then a very nice forward facing seat, probably one of the most popular seats on the boat. And this does flip up and there's more storage under that. Folks, you can see overall for a 2001 boat, really nice, it runs great. As you're gonna see, we're gonna take it on out. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, we do have, we are running an aux tank on this boat. We're not sure of the condition of the fuel. We did check the inline fuel filter, but we can't guarantee. The fuel looked very nice in the fuel filter. We could definitely try to run the engine on it, but we're running on a fresh aux tank of a few gallons just to make sure that everything is running optimally for the next owner of this boat. So it'll be up to the next owner if they would like to rehook into that tank uh, or they'd like to run on an aux tank or polish it or pump it out or put fresh fuel in whatever you do with stabilizer Whatever you choose to do. We're gonna run this during this video on any sea trial or at pickup We're gonna be running it at the dock or what have you on an aux tank for the next owner Okay So we'll get the boat in the water now as you can see very nice boat overall really good Engine runs great, 120 PSI cons uh, compression, great fusion sound system, nice Lawrence GPS, overall very clean. Nice cushions here in the front and the back. Cover for the console, cover for the bimini top boot. 
Everything you could want for a nice day out on the water just needs a few things. 12 volt switch has gone over and decide what you'd like to do with the fuel tank just because we're not positive on the condition of the fuel in that tank. Okay, let's get her out in the water. You can take a quick peek under the cowling and we'll put it in the water and give her a good run and show you how well she performs. All right guys, now we're gonna take a look at the 130 horsepower engine. This is a Yamaha carbureted two stroke, but it is oil injected. So there's a oil tank up in the console, not in the bilge, which is nice. It's in the console where the batteries are located. So it's oil injected. You fill that big tank up and it fills the mini tank up right on the side of the engine here. So you don't have to mix oil with the gas. And these early year two stroke 130s are known to be great engines. As you know, back then, these are the years that the carbureted two strokes and the OX66 two strokes really made a big name for Yamaha in the saltwater boating industry. So this is a 130 TXRZ. It's a four cylinder. Uh, we went through it as best as we could we pulled the plugs we did a compression test on it with a fresh battery and each cylinder is right at 120 psi which is the same as new and you'll see we'll put it in the water here in just a little bit on a little sea trial and it runs very nice it's got a nice aluminum propeller some of the paint has come off on it but it is in nice shape with no major uh, dings or, or dents in it I, uh, I'll take that back. It might actually be a stainless propeller. Sometimes they did have a series that had black paint on it. But regardless, it's in nice shape. The lower unit, again, for an 01 boat, very minimal, a couple of nicks here, but overall really nice. The paint is nice. And the cowling paint, as you can see here, is in excellent condition, considering a 2001 boat. It's very nice. A trim and tilt works on the engine binnacle as expected and it also works very nicely right here on the side. So you can raise and lower it if you're in the water at the sandbar. Trim and tilt system looks very good. No major corrosion. And this one does with the saltwater series engines about this time they have the easy hookup to flush out your engine. You just plug in your uh, hose, freshwater hose after your day on the water and you flush this engine right out, or you can use the muffs if you like to do that, either way. All right, so under the cowling, very clean. All right, we're gonna go put it in the water and take it for a run. All right, guys, we're on the water here. We're gonna get her started up. Again, Yamaha four-cylinder 130 carbureted two-stroke. And let's turn the key here, easy to start. Once you get, you know, a little cold-blooded at first, all carbureted engines are, once you get them fired up, they usually start immediately. This one does have an electric choke as well as a manual choke. If it's cold out. She idles very nice. And the water pump P-Stream, you always wanna look for that. You can see it's very strong on this engine. So that would tell me that the cooling system is not clogged up and so forth. The water pump's probably very healthy on this engine. To the helm. The shifts on this boat are very smooth and precise. Here's reverse, back to neutral, to forward, up and down trim tilt, working as intended, and hydraulic steering is very smooth. Okay, so we're gonna give it a little throttle here and take her for a spin. Right now we're going about five miles an hour, just a little bit above idle, getting into the waterway. We're going to trim her all the way down. And we'll bring her on plane.
back to idle. A very nice run there. We are at about 30 mile an hour cruise, which is about your most fuel efficient cruise. Shifts again, very smooth, no stalling. Very nice idle on this boat. Very impressive with the way she rides, very solid. We hit a couple of wakes there and no real rattles or anything like that. Nice, smooth, dry ride. Good running boat so far. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna give it our little shot. Let's see if she can get up to around 40 miles an hour, which obviously is really flying, but she seems like she's got plenty of power. So let's give her a run. Good hole shot. Watch the hole shot here if you wanna pull tubers or something. There you have it folks. You can imagine being with your friends and family headed to your favorite sandbar. Uh, shifts are smooth and precise. Boat touched 40 miles per hour, which is moving along with the 130 on the 194 here, Cobia. Nice running engine, idles very nicely. It's a great overall boat, needs a couple minor things, but with a nice fusion sound system, nice Lowrance GPS. Runs great, the power is great with 120 PSI compression. Really nice package. Maybe a day or two of going over this boat for somebody to make it a cream puff, it's really nice. The bones are great, no major stress cracks or anything like that. Nice package. I look forward to talking to everybody wherever you're coming from to be interested in this boat. Don't hesitate to call me. Again, it's Peter at Wave One Marine and we're happy to help you out. Look forward to speaking with you. Thanks so much for watching the video.